suddenly everything has changed. But one thing hasn't. BBVA's commitment to your financial needs. Our bank is with you. With our app, you can do most of your banking right from your phone. For more personal service, call us. Stay home, stay safe. And as you take care of what matters most in your life, know that our bank is with you. And welcome to BBVA's Path for the Draft. I'm Roger Hoover. Great to be with you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama for the Crimson Tide Sports Network. Now, please be joined by a former Crimson Tide linebacker, Terrell Lewis, who joins us from his home. And Terrell, how's everything going for you? Man, everything been going well, man. I'm blessed to be here. You excited for the upcoming draft? What have the last couple of weeks been like uh, trying to get ready for it? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. Uh it's definitely different, but at the same time, the anticipation for it, 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 I don't feel like it's any different than what you would expect as far as going into the draft and kind of anxiety that goes into it. So definitely excited for it, but kind of just been going about the same basic routine, working out, treatment and stuff like that, and uh, dealing with phone calls with teams, interviews, everything like that. That's basically everything that's been going into it so far. Yeah, how has the COVID-19 pandemic and having to stay at home a lot really changed the draft process for you? Um, I think it's affected a lot as far as how much how much you can build a relationship with teams, just as far as meeting with them in person and getting the actual vibe with them. Instead, you just have to, you know what I'm saying, obviously do things from a distance, phone calls, text messages, et cetera. So I think that may have an effect on everything. And then obviously with the no pro day thing, you know what I'm saying? That kind of affected a lot of athletes. But I definitely think, too, as far as being an Alabama guy, things like that, you kind of benefit. It's not really hurting you as much as it may hurt other guys as far as just um, having film and stuff like that. I think that definitely helps coming from Alabama and playing in big games. That helps a lot. So, Yeah, well, what were some of the things you were able to do before the pandemic? Uh, how was your training uh, starting really in January and getting to where we were in mid-March before everything started to shut down? Um, well, it was more, it, it was more like, uh, I would definitely say it was more consistent as far as you knew what you were getting ready for. You knew everything coming up ahead. You knew how to prepare for everything because you obviously knew people went through that same process, but now it kind of rattled everything and, um, basically just kind of made things a little bit more different as far as just the communication process with team and even just as far as, um, Kind of getting this go visit teams and things like that, it kind of threw everything off. Having teams be able to come to your school, work you out, or you go there, things like that. That's kind of what made the big difference as far as uh, this pandemic goes. When you get ready for the draft or a combine, pro day, whatever it may be, you always want to be in the best shape of your life. Can you say right now you're in the best shape of your life? Yeah, I feel good. I think even though we know we don't have a pro day right now, it's been a, a blessing for me in disguise. I feel like just being able to work on just me, my body, and get ready for the next season ahead. So I'm good. That's good, and I'm sure all of your Alabama strength and conditioning has really helped. Uh, let's go back to your Alabama career for a second. When you look back on your time at Tuscaloosa, what are you most proud of? I'm most proud of the relationships I built. I would say just being able to be at a program like that obviously accomplished some of the things that me and my teammates have accomplished, but the relationship you have with those guys lasts forever from my freshman year all the way up until when I left. I just feel like you meet so many great people, so many great players, so many great staff members and things like that where you know y'all will have a bond that'll last forever. Y'all share something in common, whether it be a championship or an experience or something like that. So that's definitely something that I cherish the most. And obviously just be being able to be a graduate, that that's a blessing as well. And also for you, you had to really battle some adversity in terms of injury and working your way back on the field. And with all of that, how gratifying was it for your last couple of years to be healthy and get to play and show everyone what you can do? Um, that was It was definitely a blessing. I definitely think the injury helped me grow as a man. And then especially just on the field, it helped me kind of visualize things a little bit differently. So being able to go through things, the adversity I went through in college, I definitely think helped me mature and learn so much. And then to take it with me as far as where I'm going now, I think it will help me so much in the future. And uh, just it just kind of makes me cherish the game a little bit more, cherish everything that comes along with it even more. So 
it's definitely been a blessing. You're really an elite pass rusher and have had a lot of sacks, a lot of tackles for a loss. Uh, first of all, what's the key to a good sack? What do you have to do to uh, first get ready and to make sure you get the sack? Uh, to get the sack, I think everything starts off with your get off, just getting off the ball and knowing, knowing your opponent and uh, knowing your snap indicators, knowing how your opponent's going to set you. So a lot of things go into a sack that I think people don't know about. Knowing your landmarks, it's, it's a lot of scientific things that go into, obviously, as a football player, you think about, but it, you don't really look at it as science, just as far as just football common knowledge where you know, you know what I'm saying, you're angry, you know your opponent, you know what he's trying to do. So you, you have a plan going into it, but to get the sack is it, really just a mindset, a relentless mindset that you know no matter what, if he stop your first move, your second move, you're going to get there. Alabama's got a lot of alums in the NFL right now and a lot of your position as well. Uh, have you been talking to any of those guys to tell you to, so they can help you out with what the process is going to be like and what's going to be most important when your NFL career starts? Yeah, I've definitely talked to all my old teammates from the beginning of this process all the way up until now just as far as guys like Ryan Ruben, um, DT, Christian Miller, Jamie Mosley, so all those guys I've always, I've always kept in contact with. Even other guys that I've talked to sporadically, but definitely asking them for advice on how to go about this process. But even now, just it's a little different from everybody else's process. So the the, the best thing they can really tell me right now is just um, be prepared for a long season and things like that going into your rookie year because everybody knows how um, how busy it gets. And you got to be pumped as well. You're part of a huge group of Crimson Tide players that are going to be in this year's draft. Just how excited are you for all your fellow teammates that are in this process with you together? And I know draft night, you're not going to be excited just for what your future looks like, but for all theirs as well. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. Just we talk a lot, just trying to figure out like where you guys think you're going to land and stuff like that. Like it's, it's definitely exciting. Just talk to catch up with my old teammates, whether it be like guys like Anthony, Shaheen, X, Trey. Uh, Raekwon, just being able to talk to those guys and be like, where do you think you may end up with teams you've been talking to, this, that, and the third. So it's definitely crazy. I think draft night will be really exciting just to see where everybody lands and see if any of us land on the same team or what old teammates we would like if we land with any old teammates, so I think it'll be crazy, but it'll be exciting. Well, we're really excited for you here in Tuscaloosa. Terrell, just best of luck in the upcoming draft, and thank you so much for joining us today. No, thank you. All right, that's Terrell Lewis. We certainly appreciate him for joining us for BBVA's Path to the Draft. Thanks for watching, everyone.